Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. I want you to take a look at these images. We got this out here for a reason. What's your nationality? Let me ask you that. You're black, right? Can you go to the land of black? Is there on the map a land of black? No, right? I'm going to show you something real quick. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. I'm going to show you who God talking to in his Bible. And then I want you to tell me who this is talking to, okay? Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So Moses was speaking to who? All Israel. All, I want you to keep that in your mind. I want you to keep, because you say you're black, right? Now watch this. Moses was speaking to the nation of Israel, okay? Let's see what Moses told the nation of Israel. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Moses told the children of Israel that something will happen to them in the future. Watch this. But it's, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. It shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee, this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now we're going to break this down. We're going to break this down so you can understand what Moses is talking about. Read it again. But it shall come to pass. But it shall come to pass. Meaning Moses was telling the children of Israel, this is going to happen to you. Bring it That's out. what that means. Yeah. It shall come to pass. It's going to happen. Read. But it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So hearken to the voice of the Lord means in this Bible. Hearken means listen to every word that God wrote in this Bible. Yeah, what he tell us to do and not to do. That's what Moses was saying. If y'all don't listen to this Bible, something going to happen to you in the future. Read. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. So Moses told the children of Israel, if y'all refuse to do what this Bible say, later on in the future some things are going to happen to you. Watch this. Read. That are these curses. These what? These curses. These what? These curses Read. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. So Moses told the children of Israel, if you break the commandments, some evil things go happen to you in the future. Oh, now who was Moses telling this to? What was the name of the people he was speaking to? The Israelites. That's the children right. of Israel. Let's see who the children of Israel are. Verse 46. Verse 46, and they shall be a son, and they shall be upon thee for a sign. So the curses, the curses are going to be upon the children of Israel for a sign to help you identify who you are in the future because we lost our nationality. Give me that in Jeremiah 17 real quick. Right the reason why the Lord put these curses on us so we can identify who we are. You know like when you go to an airport and then you got people that's picking up people, they holding up a sign with somebody's name on it so they can see they have some identify something, right? So these curses are on us to help us identify who we are today because this is what the Lord did to us. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. So what does this, if I, if I say you're going to discontinue from something, what does that mean? You're going to stop. A heritage is many your culture, who you are. You're going to lose it, meaning the foods that you eat, the clothes that you wear, 
the holidays that you celebrate and who you call yourself, the Lord say you gonna discontinue from it because we broke the commandments. Yes, yes, right. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. Because God called us the nation of Israel. Now the white man named us black people, and Hispanics, and Puerto Ricans, and Mexicans, and Cubans. But the Lord called us the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Yes, right. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. So why you think we went in slavery? Because we serving our enemies today because we broke the commandments. Bring the white on. man is not our friend. A friend, would a friend put yokes of iron on your neck? Would a friend put dope in your neighborhood? Bring it out! Would a friend tell you, listen sister, in order for you to get Section 8 low income, the man got to get out of the house. Is that a friend? Bring it out! We serving our enemies. Yes, and why are we killing sir. each other? Why are we killing each other when the white man is the enemy? Now we ain't telling you to pick up the gun and fight the white man. God told us keep the commandments and he's going to fight for us. That's right. 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 And, th and thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. Because we from the land of Jerusalem, we never knew what America was. So now we was brought over here. How was we brought over here, brother? How did they bring our ancestors? I can't hear you. Boat. On boats, right? So the Lord said he gonna cause us to serve our enemies in the land that we know of not. Read. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger. And a lot of people think God ain't got feelings. God said, you made me mad as hell. Bring it That's why we was brought into slavery. We That's kindled right. a fire in his name. Was that it? Much more. We shall burn forever. That means until we repent. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Now I'm going to go back because the Lord said we was going to discontinue from our heritage. I'm on 46 again. So these curses was put upon us because we don't know who we are today. We think we blacks and African Americans and Negroes and niggas. That's what we think. We think we Puerto Ricans and Mexicans. But the Bible calls us Israel. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. Bring it in. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So the curses are upon us for a sign. To help us do what, brother? I just explained it. Why are the curses upon us for a sign? To help us do what? I can't hear you. Remember, why people hold up signs in the airport with people's names on them? The curses are upon us to help us identify who we are today. The Lord said we lost our identity. He took it away from us. Read. And for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. So this one just happened to our people back then. He said it's going to be upon your seed, which is your what? You know what the seed is? Your children. So why you? I'm gonna show you that this is talking about us today. You say, we, how do we get over here? Watch this. Read that. 68. This is a book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out. Curse that the Lord said was gonna come upon what nation? The people. I can't hear you. The Israelites. I want you to keep that in mind. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So what was going on with the children of Israel when they was in Egypt? Remember, Moses went into Egypt to Pharaoh and told him what? Let my people what? Let them go. What was, why, why did he have to tell them let my people go? Because they was what? Give me Exodus 6 and 5. Why did Moses have to tell the Egyptians to let my people go? Give my brother one. But what, what, what did they have us in when we was in that land? In slavery. In slavery. Watch this. I'm going to give you a little history. Read. This is the book of Exodus. Chapter 6, verse 5. Bring it out. And I have also heard the groaning of the children of Israel. So the Lord said he heard the groaning of the children of Israel. The children of Israel was in Egypt crying. Crying, just like we're doing today. We see our children getting shot down on the streets. What are our, mo our mothers and our sons doing? Crying. Crying. So the Lord he heard the children of Israel in the land of Egypt. Read. Whom the Egyptians kept in bondage. What's bondage? Slavery. That's why the Lord said, I'm going to bring you into right. Egypt again. He said, who the Egyptians right. keep in bondage. Read. Yeah. And I have he remembered my covenant. Now, give me Exodus 20, verse 5. I'm going to show you in the Bible what the what Egypt means. What Egypt means according to the scripture. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord, thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of of bondage. So what is the Lord called in the land of Egypt? The house of what? Bondage. What's another word for bondage is what? Go back to Deuteronomy. Right. Slavery, right? Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Now watch this. Watch what Moses say. The word Egypt means what in the Bible again? 
Slavery. Remember that. He said, I'm the Lord like God. Yes, that's what the Lord refers to when he mentioned Egypt. Remember, they was in captivity. Hey, brother, right here on the bike. Come over here. I want you to hear this. You listening? All right, now listen. Remember, they were slaves in Egypt. Moses just brought them out of Egypt. So he said, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt. So if I say I'm going to take you back into Egypt and I just brought you out, what was the first thought that you're going to uh, think to go back into Egypt? Going back into slavery. Going back into slavery. That's what, that's what that word means. Egypt. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Hey, come here, brother. Chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it, it out. out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. And the Lord shall bring thee into slavery. How do we get here, brother? How did our ancestors get to this land? With the red hat. Red shirt. How did our ancestors get to this land? Uh, some of us are already here. If you that's the northern the kingdom. That's the so. That's the so. That's the northern kingdom of Israel. You talking about the slaves who came on the ship? We got here on ships, right? Yes, sir. It says, "And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships." With what? With ships. With ships. With ships. Who did Moses say this was gonna happen to? Where we read in the Bible, the children of Israel. Yes, so did sir. your ancestors come over here on ships? So who who must you be? You're the children of Israel. That's right. Sons and daughters of God. And we're breaking the commandments. That's why he brought us into slavery. It's right. going to go more into detail. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So the Lord told through Moses, the Lord told Moses to tell the children of Israel, you ain't going to see your homeland again. What's our homeland, brother? You, you know our homeland in the red shirt? My right What's our homeland? Thank you, sir. Right Give me that real quick. Give me the homeland real quick in Galatians you, 4, verse 26. Do you know what the homeland is according to the Bible? I thought it was Africa. Huh? What is it? I thought it was Africa. So we are from, the, we are from Africa, but it's a part of Africa that we're from. What part of Africa are we from? And that land was called Ham before it was called Africa, but we're going to deal with the word that we know today, Africa, right? This is the part of Africa that we're from. Read. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 26. Bring it out. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. So what's the motherland, brother? No, I want you to pay close attention. Listen, listen good. Read it again. But Jerusalem. What? But Jerusalem. What word? Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Read. Which is above uh -huh. is free, which is the mother of us all. So the motherland is what, brother, according to the Bible? Jerusalem, right? That's right. Go back to Deuteronomy 28. Read 68 yeah. again. So we got to break this down in detail to our people. Brother, what's your name right here on the bike? Yeah, Kevin. Kevin. So Moses, we, we, we showing, what's your name again? Vincent. Vincent. Kevin and Vincent. Kevin, we showing Vincent what happened to our people and who we are according to the Bible. So who, how do we get here again, brother? Kevin, on ships, right? Did you know this was in the Bible? I did not. You didn't, right? But, but now the Lord is revealing this unto you because it's something that the Lord wants us to do in these last days. But we're not doing it. We're not doing it. In order for us to come out of captivity and to come from under the white man and from under, under, all, from under, under all the other nations, we got to come back to this Bible as the Israelites. That's right. right. Not as a black man. Christ is not coming to deliver no black people. That's right. He ain't coming to deliver no Hispanics either. Right. He's coming to deliver the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Right. That's right. right. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out. out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So that's how we got here. Brothers and sisters, we was brought into slavery on ships. This is recorded in the Bible. That's, that's right. The book that you don't read. Right. This is your history, brothers and sisters. Right. We coming back to our nationality as the Israelites. That's Once right. we come back and keep this, keep the commandments, the Lord is going to deliver us. A black man, Jesus the Christ. Right. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. The homeland, Jerusalem, as a nation, we did not see our homeland again. Read. And there. And there. Once you got off the slave ships, ye shall be sold. What? Be sold. How did, what did they do to us when we got over here, brother? Sold. They sold us. And so this know. is in the Bible. This has been in the Bible for thousands of years. A right. lot people don't want to pick up the Bible and read it. True. They're ready to pass and sing a lovely song to them, let them lie, right. and take, it, take their money. Right. This, is what our, this is what our people love. They love lies, but we're bringing the truth to our people. Read. 
unto your enemies. Unto your friends. Enemies. What people sold us, brother? What race of people sold us into slavery? What did God call them? He what? What you say? Our enemies. That's so right. why are we fighting against each other? Give me, give me Hosea 4. Give me Hosea 4. Let's see why we fighting against each other and not coming up and keeping the commandments of the Lord so Christ can come back and destroy America right. and deliver us out of this captivity because that's what's going to happen. Jeez. Our brothers and sisters don't know that. Destruction is coming. Right. Destruction is coming to America. Not okay? Right. What they think this Bible say, it don't say it. They do not say it. So the past has been lying to our people for hundreds of years. Right. They teaching the white man doctrine. God don't love everybody. He loved the children of Israel. Right. Right. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. I explain to you why people are destroying each other and fighting against each other and not fighting against the real enemy. Read. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So, Kevin, don't go nowhere. The Bible says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Give me the knowledge real quick, Malachi 2 and 7. You Bring know what the knowledge out. is according to the Bible? Is it getting a college degree? Is it graduating out of high school? Gee. God don't give a damn about that. Now we're not telling you not to that go to school, funny. but that's not the knowledge that the Lord is looking for our people to have. We're going to show you the knowledge according to the scriptures. Read. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. Bring it out. For the priest lips should keep knowledge. So the priests is the pastors. The Bible says the pastors, to make it plain, lips, when they open their mouth, it should be speaking knowledge. Watch this, read. And they should seek the law. The what? The law. The what? The law. At, read on. At his mouth. So what's the knowledge? No, 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 no. And they should seek the what? They should seek the law at his mouth. So what's the knowledge that the pastor should be teaching? The laws of God. That's, That's right. what the pastor should be teaching. Right. Watch this, read on. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. So the message, the message that the pastor is supposed to be bringing forth is God's commandments. It's his laws. But we've been destroyed because we refuse to do what this Bible says. God says my people are destroyed because they lack his laws. That's Marriage. Right. We run around here, baby mama, baby daddy. You understand that? God said, don't hate your brother. Don't commit murder. Don't steal. But we do these things anyway. We refuse to keep the commandments of the Lord. Right. Go back to my, uh, go back to what you had, Hosea 4 and 6. Bring it out. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. Bring it out. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So God says, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are the children of Israel, you are destroyed because you lack the laws. Yes, You're not right. keeping God's commandments. Right. That's why we are destroyed in our minds. Read on. Because thou has rejected knowledge. So we reject this knowledge, right? I'm going to show you a commandment because you believe in the Lord, right? God says, I'm going to get numbers after this, but God says, because thou has rejected his laws, read, I would also reject thee. God say he rejected. Are we rejected as a people? Give me that. Give me that law. Are we rejected? Don't it seem like we rejected as a people? Don't nobody give a damn about us, bro. Look how we live in this country. You know why? Because God turned his back on us. Right. All other nations been wanted to take us down. You read about that in Judah 5 and 20. As long as we stay in sin, as long as we can keep breaking God's commandments, the nation's going to continue to rule over us. Right. But once we come back and keep the commandments of the Lord, Christ is coming back to destroy these nations. And they're going into slavery, and I'm going to show you that. Now remember, the Lord says because he has rejected his laws, which is the knowledge, he rejects us. You understand that? Do you do it like God is for us or against us? Be honest, bro. He against us. He just said that. He said because you reject this knowledge, I'm going to reject you. That's why we get shot down in the streets and walk around with signs marching to my no justice, no peace. Because we refuse to keep the commandments. The Lord told us that this was going to happen, and I'm going to show you that. Read this is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it out. Commandments is easy. We're going to read one commandment to you, brother. That's very Bring easy out. to do. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel. So the Lord was speaking to the children of Israel. Who is the children of Israel? You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. You are the children of Israel, according to this Bible. Read. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So these are fringes, brother. You see these right here? The gold. Those are fringes, you understand? That's he said, right. command them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Right. Read. Throughout 
their generation. So the Bible says throughout your generation. How long is that? It says throughout your generation. As long as you generate on this earth. How long is throughout your generations? What does that mean? Forever. So the Bible, so the Lord told Moses, the children of Israel should run fringes forever. Right. Read on. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So you can see we got a ribbon of blue here. You see the blue? He said on top of that fringe, you put a border of a ribbon of blue. I'm going to show you why he said that. Read. And it shall be upon you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. So the Bible says when you put these fringes on, you look upon them to remember all God's commandments. You understand that? But our people have forgotten God's commandments because they refuse the Bible. You right. understand that? They refuse God's laws. Is it, is it easy for you to keep that law? Remember, we are the children of Israel, right? And Moses says, speak unto the children of Israel. I just proved to you that we are the children of Israel, right or wrong? Right? So God said that you got to wear fringes on the borders of your garments. Is that hard to do, brother? No. Would, would you keep that commandment? No, I would. Do you love God? Do you love God? Give me that. John 14. Read out! John 14. I'm going to show you something real quick. Because a lot of our people who say they love God, the opposite just read a scripture where in 1 Samuel 2 and 3, the Lord is about action. He don't want to hear about nobody talking, talking about I love God. And that's all you do is say I love God. Bring the Lord up. is about action. You understand that? Right. That's why you see us out here on this corner. Because destruction is coming. And we are here to teach our people to repent before that destruction comes. Right. Read. This is the book of St. John, yeah. chapter 14, verse 15. Right. Bring it out. If ye love me. So you say you love God, right? God says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Do what? Keep my commandments. Now I'm going to ask you again. Is that commandment hard to keep? You love the Lord. Will you go home, learn, and to keep that commandment? That's easy, brother. All praises to the Most High. God's commandments is not hard to keep. That's Give me right. uh, Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Because there's a lot of murder going on in our neighborhood, right? A lot of, it was three kids just killed over the weekend. Bring it out! Over so-called Father's Day, which is the holiday we're not supposed to be celebrating. Yes, 104 right. shootings. Bring it 18 out. people just died. Why? Because we refuse to keep God's commandments. Jeez. We destroy it as a people. Read that, Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Bring it this out. is the book of Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Bring it out. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. So the Bible is speaking to who, brother? Which is who? The children of Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You're the children of Israel. That's right. He said, hear this word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O children of Israel. For the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. So God say he got a problem with our people. You understand that? That's why we being rejected. He has a problem with our people. We the ones that inhabit this land. He brought us over here in captivity. That's right. He said he got a problem with the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Because there is no truth. Give me the truth. Because there is no truth amongst us, brother. Do you know what the truth is according to the Bible? I'm going to show you, brother. You're going to learn right here. You sit right here for this little couple of hours that we be out here. You're going to learn more than you ever learned in your life at church. That's right. You know We're going to read the Bible. We ain't gonna come out here and run our mouth. We gonna read what the Lord says. Right. So God said he got a problem with our people because there is no truth in his land. Let's see what the truth is, read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Bring it out. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law, thy what? Thy law, thy what? Thy law is the truth. So what's the truth, brother? The laws of God, that's where it go right back to God's laws. That's, right. that's the truth that we're not keeping in this land. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not murder. But we do these things. Thou shalt not have another God before me, but we celebrate Christmas. We celebrate the white man, Jesus, when the Bible say God is black. Jesus is black. The right. prophet is black. They look just like us. You understand that? But we celebrate all these false out because we're going to celebrate. A lot of our people going to celebrate 4th of July. When we were slaves in 1776. Right. And God said, I have no other God before me. So when you do that, who you worship? The white man. Right. We were slaves in 1776. Right. And the white man 
got their freedom in 1770. Our people don't even know what 4th of July is. Bring it but up. they celebrate it, it because we destroyed, because we left these commandments. And we march and no justice, no peace. But we celebrate the holidays in America. Right. They forced our people to celebrate these days. Right. Forced us to celebrate these days. And we still do it. Christmas not in the Bible. Thanksgiving not in the Bible. Easter not in the Bible. What about the Feast of Dedication? What about the Feast of Purim? The Passover. These are the holidays in the Bible. The New Moon. The Feast of Tabernacles. Y'all don't know nothing. You know anything about them holidays, bro? We out here to teach you, bro. That's in the Bible. These are the holidays that we're supposed to be celebrating. You understand that? The other holidays that we're celebrating in this country, we're not supposed to be celebrating them at all. Right. Read. Because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. Do we show mercy to each other in this land? You know there ain't no mercy. They just killed their brother out south. When his, they, they shot him and killed his son. Ain't no mercy among our people. Bring these brothers ain't playing fair. So you brothers that's running around in these gangs, death is coming if you don't repent. That's right. Death is coming if you don't repent. Bring it out. Death is coming if you don't repent. Bring it out. No mercy among our people in this land. Read on. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing. Do we do this amongst each other? Do we swear? We, we, we swear, I swear to God, all day long, when the Bible says we should not swear. Bring it out. We steal and we kill each other. You understand that? That's why God mad at us as a people. And we walk right, we, we ran past, we walk past, say, to hell with that Bible. But the Lord gonna judge you in the last days. Each and every last one of us gotta stand before Christ. Hold on, brother, what's your question? I'm on my way. No, come over here. You good? You see what I'm saying? God, they, our people hate this, but we read the Bible. Hey, let me get some water. We read the Bible. But we say we love God. But our people ain't got time to hear the Bible. Bring it up. Read on. Read, read that verse again. Bring it up. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery. Read it again. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery. Do we do that amongst each other? We always sit back and say, yeah, I want to see if I can take home. Uh, I want to see if I can take his wife down real quick. Hit the club, try to sleep with everybody in the club. And what's that song, Lil Wayne May? I wish I could sleep with every girl in the world. That's not good. That's adultery, according Bring to the Bible. That's, that's right. right. So Lil Wayne don't love his people either. And right. that's a problem too, all this wicked music that our people listen to. Right. We gotta repent and come back to this Bible. Right. We must repent and come back and keep God's commandments. That's because right. we don't love each other as a people. We're the children of Israel, and the Lord is calling us back to repent and keep his commandments. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.